or you just did, that 3D printing is a massive market opportunity. Mass. It's democratizing manufacturing and allowing individuals like you and I to take a 2D idea and convert it to a 3D reality. Oh, sorry about that, guys. When you look across the industry, what you see is this barbell-like structure. So on one end, you've got desktop printers making iPhone cases and bobbleheads. And on the other end of the spectrum, you've got large industrial printers that are cost prohibitive. So you ask yourself, why can't you and I make larger, more functional objects, like lower limb prosthetics or furniture, tools, objects at the human scale that truly address human needs but are affordable? So I'm Samantha. I'm the co-founder and catalyst for Re3D. In addition to being surprised, I'm working with my team on decimating the cost and scale barriers to 3D printing. Now, using $40,000 we got equity free from Startup Chile, we were able to prototype the Gigabot. That's the washing machine size 3D printer you saw downstairs and on that screen up there. Because it's 30 times the size of a desktop printer and a fraction of the cost of traditional industrial systems, now allowing you, yes you, to own your own personal factory for just under $9,000. Now we launched Gigabot on Kickstarter, and the response was huge, no pun intended, because in just 60 days, we managed to raise over 250,000 US. Fast forward, two years later, we're pleased to announce here at Hello Tomorrow that we've raised over $3 million in follow-on sales to 50 countries. Thank you. So with this success, we have validated the market for affordable, large-scale, industrial 3D printing. And we see that in the customer stories that we're collecting on a daily basis. We do what we do at Re3D because we are relentlessly committed to social responsibility, and that's why you're here, right? We want to give away one 3D printer for every 100 we deliver to individuals around the world. We've already given away four. We're actively partnered on the 3D printing and prosthetics conversation, and now we're here to share our ultimate vision. We want you to partner with us to further decimate the cost barrier to 3D printing by hacking Gigabot and allowing it to accept reclaimed plastic. That's garbage. We believe that images like this, where 80% of plastic lies unreclaimed in landfills, is unacceptable, not to mention the miles of trash circulating in the ocean and the metric tons of post-consumer waste. And some of you in the audience, we've already chatted about this, that you're disposing of on a daily basis. By modifying Gigabot to accept reclaimed plastics, we believe that we will unlock new and high growth markets worldwide. In addition to that, you will not only own your own personal factory, but have complete control over your supply chain. We know we can do this. We're an eclectic team of NASA engineers, seasoned entrepreneurs, who have the knowledge, know-how, and network to make this a reality. We're also complemented by two outstanding advisors, Pascal Finette, you might recognize from Singularity University, and his work with Unreasonable, as well as Tom Chi, formerly Google Glass, and now The Girl Effect. But here's where we turn to you. You see, we came to Paris because it's a very proudly bootstrapped company that's gone from zero to 20 employees in just two years. I simply lack the overhead for R&D. So I'm looking to you. With that $15,000 that we just won, we're now gonna be able to complete the initial prototype to print with one form of post-manufacturing plastic. But now we wanna work with y'all. Because with $100,000, we would be able to have the full-scale commercial solution to experiment with more than one material. And as an open source company committed to accountability and transparency, I submit to you, we're prepared to set aside some of that money if we win 100K to come back here to Hello Tomorrow, tomorrow next year. We want to bring your trash 3D printer, 3D printer to you to get your feedback. We're so excited to share how you partnered with us on revolutionizing the next industrial revolution and further decimating the cost barrier to sustainable, affordable, locally driven manufacturing. Thank you.